Reporting live here from San Jose, there's been a big earthquake all around the city. Some buildings are destroyed, but don't worry. <gasps> Hello! Hello, fourth grade students from all over Costa Rica. Welcome to Learning at Home. It's me, Teacher Graven. I'm supposed to be a news reporter, and I'm reporting a big earthquake here in the city. But don't worry, we're just pretending. Okay, uh, we were supposed to have a new classmate, but I can't find it. It's right here. <gasps> Hello, little birdie. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Maria, Mary in English. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> and how do you feel today? I feel great. And what day is today? Today is Friday. Good. Now, do you have your pencil ready and your notebook ready? Yes? Okay. Now, I have a question for you at home. Brian, Raul, Ophelia, and Vanessa, did you wash your hands? No? Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to give you 20 seconds, okay? So please go and wash your hands. Meanwhile, today we are going to watch some videos from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos are used only for educational purposes, okay? El día de hoy observaremos algunos videos que fueron tomados de YouTube única y exclusivamente con fines educativos para aprender inglés, ¿ok? Now, are you ready to start? Yes? And we are going to watch a video from UNICEF. And pay attention to the natural disaster she's going to describe. What happened during that natural disaster, ¿ok? Pay attention to that, María. Here we go. Hello, Paola. today. I'm doing great. I want to talk to you about something that happened last night. We were having dinner and my brother and my parents talked about an earthquake that happened a long time ago in 1991 in Limón. They said it happened at around four o'clock in the afternoon. Can you believe it? They said it was very strong, one of the strongest in Costa Rican history, actually. My brother remembered that he was playing in the kitchen and my mom was cooking some empanadas for the afternoon coffee. And suddenly, the ground started shaking and moving like this, you know? Things started to fall to the ground. My mom kept calm and gave my brother some instructions. Number one, hide under that wooden table. Number two, put your hands over your head. And number three, stay calm. Let's go again. Number one, hide under that wooden table. Number two, put your hands over your head. And number three, stay calm. I am glad I was not there, but now I keep a pair of shoes right beside my bed because you never know. Always keep calm and listen to a grown-up in case of an emergency. You know what? I will go and check if we have an emergency kit. See ya! Bye! Thank you very much, UNICEF and Paola, for that wonderful video. I loved it. Um, I have some questions for you, Maria, and of course, for you at home. What natural disaster did you see? Or what was the story about? 
It was about an earthquake. Ooh, very good, an earthquake. Good. How strong was the earthquake? It was the strongest in Costa Rica. Yes, el más fuerte y poderoso de Costa Rica. What did they do, Maria? Well, they stayed calm. Yes, they stayed calm. Now, what about if we review some natural disasters from last week? So let's take a look at these pictures and you have to guess the name of the natural disaster. Here we go. What natural disaster is this one right here? It's an earthquake. Good, let's see the other one, the next one. Where are we? What is happening now? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a hurricane or a tornado. Very good. And this one? It's kind of hot. It's a drought. There is no water. Good. Let's see the other one. What is this? It's lightning. It's a storm. Yes, correct. Let's see the other one. What is that? It's an explosion. Yeah, it's very scary. <laughs> and this one? What about this one? Ooh, that's that's too much wind in here. It's a tornado. <laughs> Good. Okay. Oops. There's water everywhere. It's raining too much. It's a flood. Great job. Now, did you get all the natural disasters? Yes? Okay. Now, I have a question. What are we going to learn today? Good question. So, let's see the, our lesson goals for today. Let's see what we are going to learn, okay? These are our lesson goals. First, we are going to recognize basic phrases that denote position and can understand simple instructions. We are going to talk about familiar topic in a short presentation, and we are going to produce and read the English sound ING. El día de hoy vamos a reconocer frases básicas para instrucciones, eh, para el, eh, la comprensión de instrucciones simples. Vamos a hablar también de un tema familiar en una presentación corta y vamos a producir y a leer el sonido final en inglés de ING. And don't forget the riddle. Remember to ask your teachers, your family and friends and you can also send messages. It goes like this. I can be as big as a river. I am full of water. Nobody wants to play with me because I'm very strong when running. What am I? So, at the end of the class, we are going to have the answer. Okay, remember to send messages. Recuerden enviar los mensajes preguntándole a sus profesoras, profesores de inglés. Okay, oops. What's happening right now? Ooh, what is wrong? What's happening? Oh my goodness! There's been an earthquake right now, once again! What's happening here in Costa Rica? Calm down! Calm down, Maria! Calm down! Don't worry! Wow! Oof! It was a really strong earthquake, right? But don't worry! Okay, remember, there are many things we can do. First, we have to calm down. So, Maria, Calm down. It has passed. It already passed, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> Remember, we are just pretending. We are playing. <laughs> okay, just in case. Now, what can we do when there is an earthquake? ¿Qué podemos hacer cuando hay un terremoto, un sismo? Mm, that's a very nice question. Well, there are some simple instructions we can do. For example, let's take a look at this presentation. What can we do during natural disasters? For example, what do you do in case of a, of, of a flood or an earthquake? Okay, first, let's clarify some concepts. For instance, 
Sometimes, if there is an earthquake, you have to be under or get under a table. Nos colocamos debajo de una mesa. Correct, Maria. Very good. In case of a flood, we need to go to a second floor if there is a second floor. Nos dirigimos a un segundo piso, pero solos en nuestra casa hay. Correct, Maria. Good piece of advice. Also, don't stand near a window. No hay que ponerse cerca de una ventana. That's right. And we have to be after a next person or after the next person. Exacto. Hay que colocarse a la par de una persona o después de otra persona en fila. Recordemos eso si estamos en clase en nuestras escuelas, ¿ok? Let's see the other instructions. And also, we have to stay calm. Hay que estar calmados y calmadas. Uf. Correct, Maria. <laughs> Now, and also, we have to follow the emergency plan. Our schools have an emergency plan, or even at home. Recordemos que hay que seguir el plan de emergencia de nuestras escuelas o en nuestros hogares. Eso es muy importante. So, pay attention to these instructions. The first one says, Vamos a prestar atención a estas instrucciones. Okay, the first one goes like, Cover your head. Hay que cubrirse la cabeza. Correct. Number two. Use the stairs. Si hay escaleras, hay que usarlas caminando. That is right. Also, we have to get under a table or desk. Nos colocamos debajo de la mesa o el pupitre. Number four, stay on the second floor. Nos mantenemos en el segundo piso. Sí hay, ¿verdad? And we have to make a line. Hay que hacer fila. En orden y en silencio. Good job. And don't stand near the window. No hay que colocarse cerca de una ventana. And of course, stay calm. Mantenerse en calma. And we have to ask for an adult to get the fire extinguisher. Okay? Recuerden pedirle a un adulto que debe buscar el extinguidor de fuegos. That's very interesting. And let's take a look at this chart. We have eight pictures. We have to listen and number some important instructions to follow in case of an emergency. Veamos estas ocho imágenes, ¿ok? Yo voy a ir mencionando una por una y vamos a colocar los números del 1 al 8 en el dibujito que yo les diga. Vamos a ordenar estas imágenes, ¿ok? Viene la primera. Cover your head. María, what picture is cover your head? Mm, el de cubrirse la cabeza. That's number one. Let's see the answer. Ok. Number two. Use the stairs. Usen las escaleras. Good. Number three. Get under a table or desk. El de estar bajo un pupitre o un escritorio. Very good. Stay on the second floor. El de estar en un segundo piso. Uh -huh. Get in line or make a line. El de hacer fila ordenadamente. Okay. Don't stand near a window. No estar cerca de una ventana. Good. Also, stay calm. Estar calmado, no como yo. <laughs> okay. And finally, get a fire extinguisher. El buscar el extinguidor. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Now, let's classify the instructions according to the natural disaster. Vamos a clasificar las instrucciones y a ordenarlas de acuerdo al desastre natural. El primer dibujo, observan, es una inundación y el segundo un terremoto. The first picture is about a flood. And the second one is about an earthquake. Okay? So, what do we do first in a flood? We come down, 
get to the second floor or uh, make a line. ¿Qué hacemos primero? Mm, come down. Okay. And mm, get in line and go to the second floor. Okay, let's see. What about in case of an earthquake? Do we have to cover our head, get under a table, or don't stand near the window? First, uh, cover your head. Second, mm, don't stand near windows. And third, get under the table. Okay, let's see the answers. Vamos a ver las, las respuestas, a ver cómo quedaba, okay? Oh, okay, hay varias opciones, no hay problema. During a flood, first, first we come down. Then we make a line. Finally, we, we stay on the second floor. During a, an earthquake, first, don't stand near windows. Then, cover your head. And finally, get under the table. Okay, good job, Maria. Great job. Remember to take into account those instructions, okay? Now, have you ever experienced a natural disaster? Yes, I have. Mm. What did you do? I didn't stay calm. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Now, what about if we have a short presentation about what do we have to do in a natural disaster? I think I need some help. Okay, what can we do to help Mary here? Mm, let's see. I know what to do. What about if we have a special guest? I love special guests. Yes, I have a friend. Her name is Casey Valeria Coto Chavez. And she's going to explain some little details about what to do in case of a natural disaster, okay? Pay attention to that. You'd better take notes. Hello, Casey. How are you? Hello, teacher great evening classmates. How are you? I am Casey Valeria Coto Chavez. That was scary. It was an earthquake. I am going to explain some details about an earthquake. An earthquake is a sudden storm shaking on the ground. Last week, there was an earthquake in Costa Rica. Many things fell on the floor. Bottles, boxes, toys, and others. Also, walls cracked. Some people cried and got nervous, but I felt calm during the earthquake. What did I do in the earthquake? First, I covered my head. Second, I got under a table. Then, after the earthquake, I made a line and didn't stand near the window. Finally, I was calm. Don't forget to be prepared. Now, I have some questions for you. What happened during the earthquake? What did do you? Thanks, teacher great evening classmates. Take care. Thank you so much, Casey, and your whole family for helping us. That was a great video. And thanks for the instructions too. Okay, what natural disaster did Casey describe? Well, she described an earthquake. Yeah, and what kind of instructions she mentioned? Um, well, she said something about stay calm. Uh-huh. And something about made a line. Good, okay? Remember, you may and you have to prepare a short oral presentation at home. Use magazines or newspapers or even draw a picture. That would be awesome. What is that? Oh, do you know what time is it? No? It's letters and sounds time. And I'm going to place Maria right here because as you remember, last week we learned about the ED sound, okay? 
And today we are going to learn about the ING sound, okay? Now, let's look at this presentation about some words, okay? Here we go. And remember, last week we learned about the ED and final sound, which happened in the past. For example, we have words like haunted, played, helped, confused, and filmed, okay? And today, we are learning the sound ing, which is happening right now. For example, let's see some words. We have the words hunting, playing, helping, confusing, and filming. And also, we have words like walking, dancing, sitting, cleaning, and writing. Now, let's compare both final sounds. For example, we have the word walk, the verbs dance, dress, and clean. If we add the ed final sound, they will go like this. Walked, danced, dressed, and cleaned. And what about if we change the ed final sound for the ing final sound? Okay, let's see the words. We have, for instance, walk, walked, and walking. Dance, danced, and dancing. Dress, dressed, and dressing. Clean, cleaned, and cleaning. Okay? So that is why we may add the ing's a final sound if the action is happening right now at this very moment. So, let's take a look at these words. Maria, look at these words. Can you read them? I'm going to read them. Relaxing, walking, relaxed, planting, planted. Okay, Maria. What words have the ing final sound? Let me see. Mm, relaxing, Walking, planting. Okay, let's see the answers. Okay, relaxing, walking, and planting. Well done, Maria. Good job. You did a wonderful job. Did you guess the words at home too? Cool. Okay, I wonder how many stars we got today. How many stars did you get at home? Oh, but before that, let's see. Let's count the stars. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Look, Maria, you have three stars for today. <gasps> wow, three stars. And how many stars did you get at home? One, two, or three? Okay, good. You got three stars. Remember our riddle? I can be as big as a river. I am full of water. Nobody wants to play with me because I'm very strong when running. What am I? Mm, I'm going to give you five seconds mm, to, to guess the answer. Make a guess. Let's see. As big as a river. Mm, full of water. Mm, very strong when running. Mm, does it have to do with water? Yes, Maria, it has to do with water. Uh, a rain? Something similar to a rain. Okay. Okay, what about a flood? Let's see the answer. Yes, very good, Maria. Well done. A flood. Remember, a flood has Many water is full of water, and when the water is running fast, it's very strong. So, don't forget, okay, to practice the simple instructions in case of an emergency. First of all, calm down, okay? 
Are we listening to some music? I don't know, let's see. No? We had a good oh day. my goodness, what time we is it? So well, I'm much. sorry, but it's time to now go. Time to but don't goodbye. forget, next Friday at 9.30 a.m. Channel 4 or Channel 11, represent. I'm Teacher Graven and I am Maria. Don't forget to wash your hands, wear a face mask. Okay, that's very important. Remember, calm down. Practice the simple instructions. For example, make a line. <laughs> also, use the stairs. And stay on the second floor. Good. Now, in case of an earthquake or a flood, okay? For instance, what about if there is too much rain? <gasps> well, I have to go to a second floor. Yes, because there is a flood. And what about if there is an earthquake? What should I do? Well, I should come down. Okay. Well, see you next Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.